Californians were sold a lovely fantasy in the depths of the 2008 recession. A bullet train that would take them from Los Angeles to San Francisco in less than three hours. The project was to shape the future of high-speed rail that would eventually span the entire length of the West Coast from San Diego to Vancouver, across the desert to Las Vegas, and finally all the way across the continent. In the present day, the dream has yet to be fulfilled. According to some, the plan is off course and will fail terribly. However, a recent investigation reveals some encouraging project updates. So what will it be? A failure or the beginning of a new era? Lawmakers voted and approved a $308 billion state budget on Wednesday that includes $4.2 billion for completion of the Central Valley spine of the California High Speed Rail project. The state can now move forward purchasing trains, building tracks, and fully electrifying over 100 miles of right-of-way. But there's a catch. Why was the project delayed? Who were the main culprits trying to kill the project? Let's find out. Sean Jeans Gale, vice president of government affairs at the Rail Passengers Association in Washington, D.C. said, We're thrilled that California's political leaders are ratifying the will of the voters by advancing funding for the state's high-speed rail project. Now, we're calling on those same leaders, in partnership with the California High Speed Rail Authority, to accelerate construction on this corridor. Andy Kuntz of the U.S. High Speed Rail Association said, This is America's most important public infrastructure project that will redirect the nation into a clean green 21st century. We commend California's leaders for having the vision to boldly plan for a better future. Word came down early this week that a deal had been struck to finally release these funds locked in budget negotiations by Speaker Anthony Rendon and others for more than a year. Transdef, one of many organizations engaged in lawsuits and other efforts to kill the project, conceded defeat in an email to its members. David Sconbrun, the organization's president wrote, I learned from the Speaker's office yesterday that a deal was struck that gave the governor the $4.2 billion in HSR bonds that he wanted. That ends our hopes that HSR project can be killed. The Community Coalition, a San Mateo-based group that helped launch one of many lawsuits against the project, in an email to its members wrote, Unfortunately, we lost in the trial court. We appealed. We lost in the appellate court. Their appeal to the California Supreme Court was rejected, meaning the main legal challenges to HSR are now dead. Meanwhile, efforts are underway to secure money from the Federal Infrastructure Bill and other pending legislation in Washington to fully connect the Central Valley Spine to San Jose, San Francisco, and Los Angeles. Jeans Gale said, This is not the Notre Dame Cathedral, and it should not be a generational construction effort. The need to electrify the state's transportation system to battle climate change is too urgent to let this project languish under a barrage of endless reviews and lawsuits. Thus it is finally the clear victory for high-speed rail as state budget is approved.